Don't you know that if you buy your favorite plant from the store, you can always multiply them through plant propagation? Well, what is plant propagation? Plant propagation is the process of growing new plants. It can be from seedings, it can be from cuttings, or even from other parts of the plants. Let's talk about my propagation methods that I love to use and even effective when multiplying my plant. Hey guys, Sabella is here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you the propagation methods that I love to use and even the first method that I use when starting collecting my plants. So the first uh, propagation method that I use is water propagation. This is very easy, very effective, and popular. I use this one because I don't have any idea before and one of my friends told me that I can throw a lot of your different varieties of plants in there and I get the luck because I get a lot of good result from it but remember that not all plants are the same and not all plants can survive in the water itself one example is my pothos this plant is very easy to care and I have a stem cutting in here this one has been growing for almost two weeks now and it's giving me a good result if you can see I have a new little leaf and new leaf is coming in soon and two good results of roots well roots and if you wanted to ask I have this one in a test tube you can find this one from Ikea it comes in four pieces so it's very easy if you have plants that you wanted to multiply you can always cut them make sure that you cut them above the node or under the node make sure that there's a node in between so yeah if you're struggling to propagate your plants in the water you can always try sphagnum moss sphagnum moss is highly acid and it's always the choice for a good seeding medium for all of your plants. I have my build terrarium I called. I posted this one many times on my Instagram. And inside of this one is the miracle. I've been propagating some of my plants inside of this little terrarium I called. And some of them I already transitioned it into the uh, growing medium that, that I'm currently using and they're doing pretty good so I'm going to show you guys what's inside this is my sphagnum moss and inside I have my um, philodendron varicosum I have this small one ah, let me just open it So this little guy over here, I don't know if you can see that. This little guy over here is my philodendron varicosum. And I have this one as I have this one in this sphagnum moss for almost three months now, and it's doing pretty good. It's really healthy, but I don't see any root that it's developing well yet. It's just the new growth of leaves. So I don't want to take this out from this sphagnum moss because I don't want this to die. So that's what is inside. Ah, uh, yep. I also have my philodendron white princess, which was before is a pink princess and now I don't know why it's white maybe because there's no good source of chlorophyll the color is not developing well yet so for now I will be placing them in a sphagnum moss until they keep growing new leaves 
which I guess they're very happy. And I keep this one in direct sunlight and if you can see that's a mist inside which uh, it tells me that it has a good humidity. So if you're planning to propagate any kind of stem or any kind of plant that it has a nodes on and it's hard to propagate, you can always try to use sphagnum moss. The next one is my favorite one, my coconut core or my cocoa core. I have again in here, I always use a glass that has the lid on because they're very um, effective. So I've been propagating some plants in here and have my, what it's called, my little thigh constant here and it's doing well. I propagate this one without a leaf on, just the stem and the roots. Yep, it's giving me a good result in here. It's my alocasia, my alocasia poly. So it's growing pretty good inside. I don't have to water it. I just place the lid on top and it's doing the magic inside. If you guys don't know some of my plants, I propagate it from Coco Core. And that's why I love coco core and I transition all of my plants from soil to this growing medium because of this little guy over here so this one I've been growing this one from coco core this is my queen of anthurium and it's been growing pretty good in coco core medium and I have this one over here too if you can see that these two are different actually this one is the dark form so yeah I love cocoa core because it's not too dirty whenever I water my plants it just stays in the pot and that's it I don't have to worry about the soil scattering everywhere in the sink so yeah so guys for the recap these are the methods that I'm currently using when propagating my plant. The sphagnum moss, water, and the cocoa core. And that's pretty much about it guys. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment down below and I will answer it to the best of my knowledge. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon on my next video.